Hey guys, how's it going? In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create these cool short form videos, especially by using the new Mid Journey Draft Editor and the conversational mode to iterate through your prompts. Okay, so it's going to be more of the Mid Journey uh, tutorial, and then in a different one, I'm also going to show you exactly how you can create these super cool animations, right? So let's get right started. We are in the new Mid Journey version 7 here, which was rec recently released, and we have some cool new features here, right? So we have the draft mode here which is much, much faster. And it's basically to really craft you the perfect prompt and then you can enhance it and go into the final production, right? We also have the conversational mode now, which means you can iterate uh, your prompt through text or voice. So you can actually like talk to the mid journey AI. Um, you can tell it what you'd like the prompt to, to be and how you want to change it. And then it's going to do that. And I'm going to show you that right now. And then I'm going to show you how we can create these uh, start the images for the cool little animations okay so let's get right started um i'm going to use the voice mode now so i'm just going to talk to the ai and then uh, we go from there okay so we kind of want to recreate um an image for for this little video so we want to create the first image of that which is kind of like you know a cup and then there's like water in the cup like thunderstorm and the ship sailing on the cup so i'm literally just going to say that and then we can go from there and iterate through it okay let's go Oh, hold on. Real-time API is not connected. Let me see. I think I have to reload quickly. Give me one second. Let's reload the page. And then we go from here, conversational mode. Create an image of a teacup filled with water and the ship is sailing on the teacup. There's a thunderstorm. So now it's creating the first iteration. It's actually doing 16 by 9. So actually I need to stop this and we need to update this 916. I think it did it because it was still in this draft. So we want to have it to 916 now and create a new draft now, right? So let's do that. Um, and then it's kind of it's kind of doing that already. <clears throat> so I'm pretty much just gonna do this in the 916 ratio so we know what it looks like from that perspective and then we can kind of iterate through it and change it okay so based on this i feel like we should make the background a little bit more darker we should make the cup look more vibrant more colorful um but other than that it's it's kind of getting you know the touch we want it to be from the general scene standpoint so let's see what it does here this looks kind of cool already so let's see all right now make the background a little bit more dark um, also add cinematic lightning add blue and white colors and kind of you know the style should kind of resemble an advertising campaign okay let's see what it comes up with so i think this is this is getting into a good direction let's see I'm not going to cut these, you know, tiny completion steps because the draft mode is typically very fast, but, um, well, if you want to like enhance the pictures or upscale them, it takes, it takes a little bit longer, of course, but that's, that's already looking pretty, pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. So now this, this already looks pretty cool. Now I just want the, the cup to look a little bit cooler and, um, add a little bit more like bright lightning okay like yellowish bright light lightning add some more bright yellowish lightning especially for like the lightning itself or the particles and also make the cup a little bit more colorful uh, make the cup like more bluish and the over overall scene in a in like a very vibrant cinematic look all right let's see what it does so as you can see it's actually pretty fast you know it's pretty fast um, to transcribe and understand your voice which is pretty cool and this is actually not looking bad like you know these are these are not looking bad I know it's it's not showing the full frame um, because I have like the zoomed in um, setting right now but yeah it's not too bad so now the lightning is a little bit too too strong I feel like um, so I kind of like this more actually but we can just go from there, I guess, and just make it a little bit less powerful, maybe. 
So let's go back into the mode. Make the overall scene more bright and yellowish, not only the lightning. And make sure it has this very cinematic, good look with um, warm and cinematic lightning. So <laughs> let's see what it does. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself. But that's pretty much what the scene is, right? So yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, I feel like those already look, look pretty... Those could already look pretty cool, I feel like. It's kind of missing like the yellowish tone, you know? So let's see what it what it does here. So now the, the overall scene is more, more yellow. Well, this is way too much, of course. So if something like this happens, you know, what I do, I just go back to this one. I would run this one. So it's kind of going from here. And then we can just uh, improve that a little bit more, okay? Also, what you can also do if you kind of lose the direction, you can just kind of tell it again what to do. So I'm also going to do that and just see what it comes up with, okay? So create an image of a storm that rages inside an antique teacup and also add lightning and thunder. Uh, water fills the cup. There's a ship sailing on the water and it's like the water is splashing around. And the overall, overall scene should be like blue and white colors with a rather dark background and also add cinematic lightning. So that was a pretty long one. Let's see. Um, let's see how this one does. Um, but yeah, I feel like you can just kind of tell it a lot. You know, all the details. We want to have like blue and white colors. We want to have like cinematic lightning. We want to have the storm rage in, in the teacup. Uh, we want to have the thunderstorm and all of that. So um, you can you can probably like one prompt this even. I just kind of wanted to show like the iteration process, but I feel like this this one prompt that we did kind of was the best, you know, it's kind of looking the best already. So I feel like this is already looking pretty damn good. So this is, let me, let me compare this. Yeah, it's getting pretty close to these ones. I feel like we could definitely work with them. So I probably go from here. So you want to go from here what you do is you can enhance these ones okay so now it's using this exact style of like this image and basically creating variations of that but as an enhanced version so it's not in draft mode anymore actually like the production mode and then we could go from here and yeah like even go from there and create new variations or just upscale the one we like the most right so yeah that, that's what we can always do um so I feel like all, all of these look pretty cool. The cup is a little bit too boring here maybe, although it has cool reflections. But here because of this little keyword antique, it's looking pretty cool, you know, it kind of fits the vibe. Um, so the overall scene here could be, depending if you like it or not, it could be a little bit more warm. Um, a little bit more like warm or a little bit more bright. Actually, I think I'm just going to do that. So... I hope it's going from this draft mode now since I'm I'm telling it to change the scene, right? Now change the scene to make it a little bit more warm and add a little bit of brightness, but just a little bit. Okay, let's see. So I, I hope it's going from here. Um, I think it does though. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. So let's see. Slightly warmer and brighter atmosphere. Hmm. Hopefully it's not too much. That's kind of, you know, you kind of have to go back and forth um, if you want to change like the, the color scheme and the atmosphere and the brightness and all of that. But I, I feel like the general description is doing a pretty good job. And yeah, I feel like this is not too bad. This definitely brightens up the scene. So this is doing a pretty good job. I think this could, yeah, this could be pretty cool. We can also just rerun these a couple times. So what I normally do is I just rerun them a few times. And then, you know, because every seed is different, of course, and then we kind of, we, we kind of come up normally with, with a very good one. And then I can create variations of them, enhance them, upscale them, and then I kind of have the perfect image, right? That's kind of how I normally do it. Um, but I feel like, you know, even these, they, they could already look pretty damn cool, to be honest. They could already look pretty damn cool. So... Yeah, this is looking pretty cool. You know, you have like all these water splashes, the lightning, all these particle effects. I like that. I like that. I think it's um, 
I think it's a very good first frame to to animate that and you know kind of have something like this here the, the cup was designed a little bit differently and there's more of a thunderstorm in the background but here on the right with the dark background I, I think this looks pretty pretty cool honestly and yeah this is this is kind of how the process works so now you can just go into your favorite image to video animation tool and and pretty much create these five or ten second clips um on like different camera shots like the slow zoom in kind of like the the bullet time zoom in here on the right or on, on the left you kind of like the the orbiting or like the arc rotation of the cam so yeah um that was the quick tutorial guys how to create these cool little videos and yeah use the new mid journey draft editor and the conversational agent pretty much to iterate through your prompts i hope you like this tutorial let me know if you have any questions and what you'd like to see next and i'm going to see you guys in the next one peace